you want to know why black leadership do not speak out when our children, our teenagers, are out and about doing things like what you see depicted on this video or in this video is because they don't know what to do. They don't have a clue of how to combat this kind of behavior by some of our teenagers who are completely, totally out of control. They don't talk about it because they don't have any real solution. Now they will be on the bus on CNN the second after a white person or a white Spanish person or a, a policeman shoots a black teenager. But a black teenager can shoot other black teenagers all day, every day, everywhere, and no leaders nowhere to be found. Why? Because they don't have no clue of what to do. They don't have a solution. So, I mean, if you don't have a solution, just say so. Just say, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't have a clue. Now, in this particular video, it got me thinking about young uh, African-American teenagers, okay? This bottle here is a representation of young black men and women in America in most communities. This is it right here. Most of them in this uh, category are doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're going to work, working hard, doing the right thing. This is the group you never hear about. Nobody talks about them, you see? Then we got this group right here. On the other end of the spectrum, this is a representation of that few uh, uh, number, a small number of straight up psychopaths. You know what I mean? They don't care about nothing but themselves. Uh, they don't mind uh, carrying a gun, shooting in the crowd. They don't mind getting a group of kids together to go into a Walmart to uh, uh, act like complete idiots. This group right here, this small group, there's not that many of them, but they have a whole lot of influence because they're really scary, okay? They'll do things to people that, you know, people in this category, they wouldn't do, you know what I mean? So you got this little group right here, it's in the middle, you know. These are the ones that are influenced, they're easily influenced by these psychopaths. You know, these psychopaths can get this group to go you know, and, and cut the food, you know what I'm saying? So they, they, the, the combination of these two can be very dangerous, you know what I mean? And they, they are constantly making, you know, this group, the ones that know they're supposed to be doing it, look bad, you know what I mean? But, uh... Nobody don't have no solution for this group right here. And you sure ain't got no solution for these people right here. And this small little group you go to any community anywhere. And you get this small little group of just like insect niggas. I mean, oh, excuse me. Insects or whatever you want to call them. Who are, you know, they, they threaten the neighborhood. They, they blow up people's houses. And, you know, I mean, this is not a joke. I'm not making this up. These people will, this small little group right here will straight out kill you. Your kids, what, they don't care. They don't care. And there's such a small number of them running around talking about, uh, uh, well, how, what do they say? Um, uh, snitches get stitches. They can get a whole, this little, this little teeny minority of, of, of infected insects are trying to tell the whole African-American community in some areas what they can or can't do, what they will or won't do. And if you do do what they don't want you to do, they're going to kill you. Uh, hello? There's way more, I mean way more people in the community who are about doing the right thing than there are these fools who can infect these fools. So, I mean, um... Until people in various communities, African American communities, decide that, you know, they tired. They tired of these clowns right here. These two clown, clowns running things in their neighborhoods. Things ain't gonna change, you know what I mean? You're gonna have 
kids killing other kids, kids going into Walmart, acting the fool for all the world to see. And uh, don't expect nobody to solve this problem. It's our problem. It's not the government's problem. It ain't the leadership's problem. It's our problem. And if we don't get together and do what we got to do, whatever it is we got to do, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can get a baseball. They got bats. We can get bats, too. I mean, I'm not espousing violence, but come on. You can't have this number of uh, individuals running things in nobody's neighborhood. That's all I got to say, and totally, I'm out. I'm out. I'm so out.